What's up guys, we're back with another FIFA 20 player review. Today we're looking at player moment Sergio Ramos. He goes for about 430k. His SPC has no expiry date, so um, you know you can just put in your father whenever you want. I would definitely recommend you guys completing him though, he is a very good player. Sorry for not uploading too much about on FIFA guys, I just lost a lot of passion for FIFA over the last week or so. Um, but I'm, I'll be back, I'm going to post play reviews hopefully daily, it will probably be daily. But I will be bringing along some new content because I want to play other games. So we'll talk about that in a future video. But let's get into the Sergio Ramos play review. 93 rated. Only trait that he has that affects that has an effect in game is the power header trait. It's very good to have. Uh, he has 89 pace, which is insane for Sergio Ramos. Uh, 96 shot power. Um, good passing stats. 85 short pass. 88 long pass. 87 agility. Very good. Uh, 93 ball control, 97 reactions, 95 heading accuracy, insane uh, defending stats, 88 strength, 82 stamina, and uh, 93 aggression. High medium work rates, which isn't too much of a problem if you play him at right back or right mid. Center back wise, um, he's very good at center back. If you saw the 90, I think it was a 91? The 90, the info, uh, no, 91, yeah, the 91. Um, we saw the review about this. That one, that this guy is very similar, except he is so much faster. Uh, defending wise, like tackling wise, it's pretty much the same, but the pace is a big difference. He is so much better because of the pace. A little bit too aggressive, can draw red cards, yellow cards, so be careful for that. Just time, make sure you time your tackles. Um, like I said, with Sergio Ramos, you just want to get in and tackle them, man. Like it's crazy. I don't know. Something comes over me when I control when I control this card, but. I play him mostly right now at right mid, and he is very good at right mid. I love running Semedo at right mid, so I thought, why not try this guy? Uh, he is very good, pace-wise very good. I did put engine on, so it boosts the pace even more. And the agility and the passing. Uh, no need to really upgrade the defending stats. He's already a beast at that. So, at right mid, guys, is very good. Uh, running down the line, uh, passing it, crossing it, very good. Um, he has very good ball control as well. Uh, he's very nice on the right side. Agility is very good. You can dribble past people, take advantage of that strength. Uh, with those running uh, fake shots, uh, those are very OP. Uh, he scored a couple of goals for me too. Uh, he had this crazy goal when he was just like uh, doing keep ups in the air, man. It was crazy. Um, another goal, uh, just in the box, right place, right time. His finishing is decent. If he has an open chance, he can finish it. Shot power is insane. I played him a few games as a striker, definitely wouldn't recommend. I uh, just really not built to be a striker, but if you want to have some fun, go go ahead and try it out. But he's a very good passer. Um, defending wise, like I said, very good. He saved a lot of, he made a lot of goal line clearances for me. A uh, good positioning as a center back. Very versatile player, center back, right back, right mid, even, uh, I wouldn't say left back. CDM could be very good. I did not try him, but I can guarantee He'll be very good as a CDM. Uh, maybe we'll push up a bit too high with the high medium work rates, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem as long as you have someone with like medium high or uh, low high. I think you know a balance like that could be very good for your team if you do have two CDMs. I definitely wouldn't recommend you guys playing him as a lone CDM though. But like I said, guys, he is very good and. Pretty much all aspects of his game. Only bad thing is high medium if you are playing him as a center back. And honestly, maybe finishing wise. But I don't really advise playing him in an attacking third role. Like as a cam or as a striker. Right mid, even left mid would be good. Right back and center back are preferred positions. CDM as well. Um, and yeah guys, that's all I have for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. We reached the 500 subs. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. From the bottom of my heart, really appreciate it. I'm going to give Sergio Ramos a 99 out of 100 just because he is such good value. This is an end game uh, cent uh, center back or right back. Um, you know, even through team of the season, he's going to be competing with the best right backs in the game. So I definitely recommend you guys do him, especially if you have a bunch of SPC fodder. You don't know what to put it in. Go with uh, Sergio Ramos. Why not, right? Uh, and that's it for the play review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy. Uh, comment. Let me know who you want to see review next. I have a bunch of play reviews coming up, stored up. So I will be releasing those in the coming days. 
I will be playing with Bruno Fernandez, and I can't remember who one of my viewers said to review as well. Or oh, at all, I'll try at all out. I don't know if I'll have him on full cam, but I will try him out. And yeah, guys, hope you have a blessed day. I love y'all. Peace.